I think this is going to be the only non-windy day this week, so. Yeah. The fish get smarter with each day, right? <laughs> Good morning, absolutely stunning morning up here on Lake Wenatchee, and I'm going after sockeye salmon. I've never fished sockeye in this lake, only because I would fish them in the Brewster pool near my house, but um, it closed early this year. This is a very different sockeye fishery in that you're not allowed to use bait here, you have to use barbless hooks, no scent, because of the presence of endangered spring chinook and bull trout. So, just very simple rigs of either bare red hooks or pink hoochies or pink lures. Let's see how this goes. Here you can actually see these are sockeye right here. Here's my downrigger. There's a sockeye there. So they seem to be holding in that sort of 50 to 100 foot range out here. I'm on the upper end of the lake. Uh, so the boat ramp's way down there. I launched that uh, unimproved launch that really only kayak anglers can use or drift boats here on the west end of the lake. And of course you can see the mountains and a few boats out here. There's a hit. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh. Got that in the dropper right away. <laughs> That's fast. Just barely got it in the rod holder. It went off. That's with a pink coochie. On a max double D. Doesn't feel very big. Might be something else. Okay. Come here, buddy. That's a decent size one. Nice. Man, that just took seconds to get my first fish in the boat on the first drop. Not a bad size fish. Kind of the average fish for sockeye, uh, two to three pounds. Looks like a hen. Not too bad, though. I'll take that. Now, a lot of people have asked why I don't bonk and bleed on camera or even I even do and I do bonk and bleed I just don't do it on camera typically I thought today I'd talk a little bit about how I care for my catch so I have my little slugger here which I will use to uh, subdue said fish and I cut the gills with either a knife or a pair of scissors both sides and let it bleed out in the neck. Looks like she's all bled out all over the side of my kayak. There's one on the down right here. There he is still there. Marino, I still have a fish in the net and I'm bringing up my other one. I'm gonna keep trolling to keep pressure on them since this is a barbless fishery. I brought that one up from 60. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. Nice. I'm all done. <laughs> Didn't take very long at all. All right, so there's my devil sockeye. Already, that's super cool. Two and done, really fast. All right, let me show you what I was using here. So on this one, I had my seven foot Travala jigging rod, six ounce weight to a 36 inch bumper down to a max double D UV Dodger and about an 18 inch leader to a pink hoochie and two red hooks that are barbless. So pretty simple setup. I was trolling at about 1.2 miles per hour. And on the downrigger rod, I was using my Lama Glass Classic Glass downrigger rod, eight foot two, with my triple custom pink dot dodger. I pulled this dodger off the bottom. I think it's just the Les Davis, or actually it's the Lure Jensen. And I put a 14 inch leader to two red hooks with a glow bead and a pink bead. 15 pound leader here, 40 pound leader. So I don't think they're very leader shy. And I had that at 60 feet. You do have to use knotless nets in this lake as well. So. I did tag my fish, um, 670 is the code here. Obviously I write like a chicken because I hang out with chickens too much. And then this is the catch bag I use, which I really like so far. It's expensive, but it's two inches thick. It's waterproof on the inside, has a drain plug on the outside. It's made by a company called Opa and, uh, the fit and finish isn't the greatest, but at least on the seams on the top, but it seems durable so far and it fits a king, easy sockeye piece. That was a very intense five minutes of fishing for two hours of drive, but still a lot of fun. Look how beautiful it is behind me there in mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a great fishery, it just opened. So get out and take advantage of Wenatchee Lake Sockeye. I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.